Hi, my name is Simon Thomas. I've been uh, an electrical instructor here at Lincoln Tech for the past 14 years. I'm um, going to introduce you to a few things. Uh, today we're going to be talking about security and access control. Some of the things that you do in uh, security, as an example, you're going to have, uh, say your business, uh, you need to put, secure your business. These are some of the parts of the equipment that you're going to use. It incorporates CCTV. Uh, you have the, the motion sensors, touch pads. You, um, the things that you see uh, on this monitor is what these t uh, mo uh, monitors are looking at. Uh, and all this equipment, it could be programmed. Everything has a is battery backed up. Is a battery backup in there? And quite a few things in this area. Uh, access control makes it possible for you to have access to areas such as if you are working in a hospital, as an example, and you have the elderly, you don't want them to go certain places. Uh, these are the things for access controls. You have the, the keypads, uh, some of the pads that you have uh, will allow you to scan as you go into a building, uh, that type of thing. So these are some of the things that you learn in this class. Access, access control, CCTV. This class is for system integration. Uh, what it does with system integration, it integrates all of the electronics, um, all of the electrical that you have completed in classes prior to this one. And these pans are called SMC, um, a Structured Media Center. What it means is I could have whole house automation. Everything for your AV, your audio video, your CCTV, your access control, uh, your cameras around the, around the building, around the perimeter. You even get as far as doing a little bit of electrical. And all of these wires, you learn how to wire them. There are different styles of wiring. The uh, coaxial cable for, um, for different cameras, and, and you have uh, uh, these are a little bit uh, different. These are uh, for, yeah, these are for your telephony, uh, for your controls, for your, for your receptacles, and everything like that. You have your fire alarm systems, everything could be tied in. Again, this is for whole house um, automation. The thing about this is, uh, it's a system is integration and it combines everything in the house uh, from one location. The good thing about this is, later on, uh, from the street, from wherever you traveled around the world, you still have access to the whole house. So this is a finished product um, of what, what we looked at a, a little while ago on a rough-in stage. So this is finished product um, where you learn all about Leviton products, you learn all about the different devices, you learn about termination and splicing, uh, the touch screen, the keypads, you could even uh, manage your audio. Uh, have you ever been to a store and you listen to music all around? This is the type of equipment they use for, you could plug in just a regular uh, laptop or a regular uh, phone with music and you could hear it all around the store. And if you look up here, you have your cameras, you have your monitoring system, your telephony, you have uh, um, security, everything that we talked about earlier in that roughing stage this is a finished product. This is what it looks like. You get to learn a little bit about code, um, understanding that the, the receptacles that you put on the floor has to be of a certain height. Your contact is for the windows. Um, and we did access control earlier. These are the contactors. So you do it on this level, but it's the same idea when you go back to work. This is what you're going to be doing. Uh, so this class, uh, you do motor controls, lighting controls. One of the great things about this class, it has everything about motors. It's in a miniaturized state, but we, you learn about AC motors, DC motors, single phase motors, three phase motors. You even do a little bit about panels and, pan, and the panels that controls these areas. This example here is a, a panel of a, a single phase panel. This is a three phase panel. In this class, you learn about ladders, uh, the cable trays, Cable trays are usually used in a commercial building. Uh, this is a commercial class. So all of the things that you use in here, you learn about bonding and grounding that goes back to your main panel. Everything that comes in the meter back to, your main, uh, to the panel, back to doing contactors and relays and motors in different parts, the armature of a motor, that type of thing. Everything that is in a commercial base, even in the industrial area, you get to do it, but it's miniaturized uh, but the, the idea is the same. 
we love this class because uh, it has so much that you can put together for a commercial uh, electrician. That's what you'll be learning. The fire alarm class is a great class. Uh, you get to learn about how to uh, terminate inside of a, a main panel for uh, fire distribution. We have two types of systems. You have the addressable system and you have the uh, conventional system in the fire alarm systems. You have, uh, you have these pull boxes, you have smokes, you have strobe lights, uh, horn, horn strobes. All of these are different parts of a fire alarm system. You even get to do some conduit bending and you have to obviously spray them red. Um, the, the whole control panel has to be programmed. Each in an addressable system, the whole idea is if something went wrong in a 10-story building, somewhere along the line, this is able to direct you and tell you exactly where to go to troubleshoot the system. This is uh, 105 EEST 105 that deals with uh, commercial wiring. Commercial wiring today is, uh, is very necessary, but it also deals with the solar. We have this panel here, so it's called an inverter. This inverter collects from our panels that are installed outside of the building. It comes into this point here and, and we can monitor um, how much is collected, how much is being used. And over on this panel, this panel now is the one that is going to be used, has a monitoring system, it speaks to this here wirelessly and that type of thing. So with, with today we know there are at least two types of uh, solar. One is the, the, you could sell back to the, to the grid, to PSE and G Con Ed, or you could have a standalone battery. So that's, that's part of this class. Also, you get to learn about high voltages. Uh, the type of voltages we have here coming into this part of it is 480 volts, 277 slash 480 volts. Can't do anything with that, so it goes through something called a CT panel. Uh, it passes through the meter, and then it goes to this distribution panel. Most commercial buildings use 277 volts for lighting, so this panel does that. But I can't do anything with 277 volts on my computer or refrigerator, so it passes through something called a transformer. A transformer does one of two things. I can either step up or step down the voltage. In this case, I step down the voltage to 120 volts, 208, so I now I can take my 120 volts, if you notice the breaker sizes, a little bit smaller, so now I can manage my computer, I can do everything else in that reference. Over on this side, if you follow me, it's a little bit different, we have 400 amps coming into this one, it's a little bit different design, still three phase, but it's 120, 208, three phase. You're going to learn about three phases and single phase and that type of thing. These are called meter stack. You'll find this type of arrangement, uh, say in a, in a group of stores, a, a strip mall, an apartment building, where you have a multiplicity of these things put together. From here, we go to what are called sub-panels, different parts of the building, um, and then you can distribute to what is called branch circuits. The type of wiring style in a commercial building is more of a armored type cable. In this case, it's called MC or metal clad cable and this cable or the junction boxes are all at standard height uh, 12 inches from the floor and in the overhead we still have uh, a wiring uh, we work at a wiring diagram or a schematic or a blueprint that allows us to do this type of work to continue in this class we also do uh, how to pull wires inside conduits we use a fish tape uh, this is a one method you can push these inside the uh, conduits you learn about different styles of junction boxes, weatherproof junction boxes, smaller junction boxes. You learn how to uh, size the junction boxes, how many, how many wires could I put in a, a different type of junction box. This is a fish tape that we use to push. Uh, there are three types of fish tape. You have, this is a steel tape, nylon, and fiberglass. If this is too hard to do, or the distance is too long, then we can use something called a vacuum system. The vacuum system is pretty easy. We could either push the, there's something called a mouse that pushes through, and there, or you could act, actually suck the wires through the mouse through, then you could use your rope to pull your wires in that area. One of the things that you learn in this class is about termination and splicing, uh, learning different types of wires, uh, the markings on the conductors, how to terminate, what type of tools to use to terminate be, below any type of wiring, 
uh, from 12 gauge all the way to 1,000 uh, circular mills. One of the things about solar panels is that uh, there's a couple of different ways that we could wire a solar panel. These are called so, uh, a solar panel array. It could either be wired in series or it could be wired in parallel or a combination of both. Uh, if you notice that the top panels is, is putting some sort of shelter or is putting a shadow on the second set of panels. And if you wire it in series, you kind of lose a little bit about uh, uh, how it collects. And it, so it affects the, the amount of, it collects and it, and it does not do the type of job it needs to do. So the, the one that's more advantageous would be to wire it in parallel. This works with, directly with the, with the uh, system that we have inside of the classroom. Welcome to the residential wiring class. It's, its main focus in this class is to look at panels and you, here you learn how to uh, read a blueprint, how to look at these panels, how to learn about a panel schedule. The, when you open this door, there's a schedule on here and you understand uh, when, it, when, it, when it leaves the transformer on the road, up here's a transformer and it goes to the service head, comes down into your meter, Everything that happens from this point onwards works into something called a branch circuit. Branch circuit in residential, we use this type of cable, it's known as non-metallic or Romex. The type, this type of wiring is especially used for residential purposes. The type of junction boxes that we use are plastic boxes that allows you to do your termination and put on the regular devices for switching, for receptacles and that type of thing. Welcome to a conduit bending class. Uh, this is a hand bender. In this class, you learn about a hand bender. The hand bender comes in two parts. Um, it's usually used uh, using, your, using your feet and your hands together. As an example, you're gonna make a 90 degree. You must use the heel of the bender type thing. Um, and then there's different markings that you get to learn on here. And the type of bends you get to do uh, in this class this is like a saddle bend, you're going over an obstacle. You make offset, box offsets to go into a junction box. You make angle bends, and you make back-to-back -back 90s and offsets. Uh, these are the things that you do using the hand bender. This one is called a hydraulic bender. Does the same exact thing. Big difference is we have this shoe with, it has multiple sizes for bending larger conduits. Um, you, here you get to learn about jogging and spring back and understanding how to set it up using all the different parts. These are nice big machinery uh, just in case you work with a contractor that has uh, a lot of bends to do, big conduits. This is the type of machinery you're going to use versus using this type of machinery. Okay, This is a hand bender. It bends up to one inch, but this also does the same job but at a lot greater, faster pace. So you also get to use uh, PVC. A lot of places have PVC, which is polyvinyl chloride. Um, it's made especially for burying uh, underground systems. We're not gonna use a machine like this or a hand, a hand bender like this to bend this. We use something called a hot box. It has an element in there that puts sufficient heat on the conduit that allows you to form the conduit to make the same exact bends that we used for, with a hand bender or hydraulic machine.